Good morning. Good Friday morning. Happy Friday. Oh, my goodness, it's Friday. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. I'm having hot chocolate this morning. My daughter gave me a pack of, like Starbucks hot, co hot cocoa. I'm not sure I should be having this, but oh, it's good. But it's okay. I've got it in my starter fluid mug, so <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm going to start off this morning with coffee and the word um, uh, with, a, with a prayer. It's the end of the prayer, of the daily prayer for, for morning. Um, this app is pretty cool. It's got uh, uh, and the, uh, uh, the Treasury of Daily Prayer has all this, but it's really convenient to have it in an app. Uh, it's got morning, noon, early evening, and close of day. And I'm going to read the closing prayer uh, for, the, for the morning. Um, so let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. And let us bless the Lord, and thanks be to God. Awesome. All right, today's readings. Let me get a little hot chocolate here. I'm sorry, it's hot cocoa. There's a difference. I guess. I don't know. It's all good. <laughs> Uh, the psalmody this morning, we're in Psalm 118, verses 19 through 29. Uh, I'm not sure I said it. So grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope and pray you all have a fantastic day. It's a little overcast here. We might get some rain. So anyway, Psalm 118, verses 19 through 29. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them, and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me, and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we pray, O Lord. O Lord, we pray, give us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine upon us. Bind the festal sacrifice with cords up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. All right. Love that. Just love that. Amen and amen. So, All right. The Old Testament lesson this morning. We're in Daniel. We're starting Daniel chapter 1, verses 1 through 21. So here we go. Daniel's awesome. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into this one. Uh, in the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with some of the vessels of the house of God. And he brought them to the land of Shinar, to the house of his God, and placed the vessels in the treasury of his God. Then the king commanded Asphanaz, the, the, his chief eunuch, to bring some of the people of Israel, both of the royal family and of the nobility, youths without blemish, of good appearance, and skillful in all wisdom, endowed with knowledge, understanding, learning, and competent to stand in the king's palace, and to teach them the literature and the language of the Chaldeans. The king assigned them a daily portion of the food that the king ate, and of the wine that he drank. They were to be educated for three years, and at the end of that time they were to stand before the king. Among these were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah of the tribe of Judah. And the chief of the eunuchs gave them names. Daniel, he, ca he called Belteshazzar, Hananiah, he called Shadrach, and Mishael, 
uh, Mishael he called Meshach, and Azariah he called Abednego. But Daniel resolved that he would not defile himself with the king's food, or with the wine that he drank. Therefore he asked the chief of the eunuchs to allow, to allow him not to defile himself. And God gave Daniel favor and compassion in the sight of the chiefs of the chief of the eunuchs. And the chief of the eunuchs said to Daniel, I fear my lord the king, who assigned your food and your drink. For why should he see that you were in worse condition than the youths who were in your own age? So you would endanger my head with the king. And then Daniel said to the steward, whom the chief of the eunuchs had assigned over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, Test your servants for ten days. Let us be given vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our appearance and the appearance of the youths who eat the king's food be observed by you, and deal with your servants according to what you see. So he listened to them in this matter, and tested them for ten days. At the end of ten days it was seen that they were better in appearance, and, and fatter in flesh than all the youths who ate the king's food. So the steward took away their food and wine, and the uh, wine they were to drink, and gave them vegetables. As for these four youths, God gave them learning and skill in all literature and wisdom, and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. At the end of the time, when the king had commanded that they should be brought in, the chief of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar, and the king spoke with them. And among all of them, none was found like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore they stood before the king, and in every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters that were all in his kingdom. And Daniel was there until the first year of King Cyrus. Interesting. I don't know if it's just me, but, um, you know, I've, I've read these stories before, but when you read it out loud, you tend to catch up, catch things. And, and, uh, so it's interesting if you get a chance to read it out loud and hear it, it's, it's you, I don't know if you're, I might just be weird. Some people would debate that, but <laughs> pastor Tim, if you're watching, you, yeah. All right. Uh, the New Testament lesson this morning is Matthew 28, verses 1 through 20. Now after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes white as snow. And for fear of him... The guards trembled and became like dead men. For the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. And while they were going, behold, some of the guard went to, into the city and told the chief priest all that had taken place. And when they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave a sufficient sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story has been spread among the Jews to this day. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Awesome. 
And this is the word of the Lord for the day. I like that last line. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. And you know what? That's something we can take comfort in in this, this day and age right now uh, that we're living in. All the craziness going on in politics and all the, you know, with the, the COVID virus and, and uh, people rioting in the streets. I mean, it's just insane out there. But something you can take comfort in is he's with you. All right. The, uh, uh, the hymnody this morning is on Galilee's high mountain. Here we go. On Galilee's high mountain, Christ gave the great command. In words of strength and promise, which all can understand, all power, is given, all power to me is given to do what I shall choose. Therefore I send my children, their witness I will use. And, you know, some of those old hymns just have some really, really good meaning. I would recommend, if you can get an old of an old hymnal and read some of the lyrics, they're powerful. Oh, man. Prayer of the day. Here we go. Let us pray. O oh God, for our redemption, you gave your only begotten Son to the, to the death of the cross, and his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of the enemy. Grant that all our sin may be drowned through daily repentance, and that day by day we may arise to live before you in righteousness and purity forever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And amen. All right. Let me set this down. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have just a great day. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Um, we're having, this is the, the last day. I work for the school district locally here, and we have off next week. So I'm looking forward to that. Got some stuff to do around the house, but I'm going to be doing this every morning. I'm, I'm so loving doing this. Um, hey, you know, if you're watching this uh, from somewhere and you're, you're not a, a, a disciple of Christ that attends Joy Lutheran Church, uh, if you're not a member there, hey, drop me a line and, and let me know what church you're from. I'd like to start a, a map and see how far out this goes. And feel free to share it. Uh, I'm not looking for accolades, but I would like to just get the word out because uh, I enjoy hearing scripture read. And I know there's other people that do too. So uh, I appreciate everybody who shares it and I appreciate all the comments. But hey, let me know what church you're from and what city you're in. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to start a map and, uh, and you know, and I'll, maybe I'll show that one morning. But uh, anyway, let me know where you're from. Y'all have a fantastic day. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off with uh, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we will see you tomorrow on Coffee, Hot Chocolate, and the Word. Coffee and the Word. Bye-bye. God bless.